I drive a lot in Phoenix, heading to and from different events and stories. And one thing I've noticed is the lack of pedestrian safety from drivers and pedestrians, even in an obviously marked crosswalk. One thing else I noticed, and apparently not only me. Oh, I know who you are. So what are you telling me? They're only stopping because you're here with the camera. I wasn't here, they wouldn't stop. They would not stop. Well, I beg to differ sometimes. Not only did the Valley Metro bus not stop, four other drivers ignored the man who was clearly in a marked crosswalk at 21st Ave and Indian School. And it's not just a marked crosswalk, it's a lighted one with an island for protection. People get here here all the time. But there's an island. They don't care. They drive up on the island sometimes. Now let's switch gears and head over to 41st Street in McDowell, where this man is caught right smack in the middle of the road waiting for traffic to go past. And since he's not in a crosswalk, he must yield to the passing cars. It's state law. But one thing to keep in mind on this stretch of roadway, the nearest crosswalk, is a few hundred feet away in both directions. It's almost a highway. It may as well be a highway. So one of the things I noticed while being out here in Phoenix is I have to constantly be on the lookout for pedestrians crossing the road to any place. And at nighttime, it's even more difficult because many of them are wearing dark colored clothes. But I have some good news for both of these areas. This, according to the City of Phoenix Street Departments, they will be getting the Hawk Crosswalk System. That'll work. It'll, it'll, it'll just ease everybody off a little bit so we don't have to almost kill ourselves just trying to get to the store real quick because we live on this side. Now, if we can only get the drivers to understand exactly how the Hawk System works and that the flashing lights are equal to and should be treated as a stop sign. Very misbehaving. In Phoenix, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family.